happens today we'll see how do you capture the errors when you load the data in power bi or when the data is refreshed in power bi how can we capture the errors for the demo purposes we have got a file with the name as product host and here in, in the tab name is also product host you can see here and uh, this is the data that we have so this is the data that we have so which contains the three columns one is sku product and product host so we are going to import the data afterwards we are going to add a dummy record wherein the product cost will include an error will that particular record will have an error and we'll see how to capture that error so in power bi so we click on excel workbook and we connect to the sheet which is product cost so it's a simple thing you are connecting with the source so it shows you the structure of the data so in excel file what happens is so it will uh, it will automatically try to find out what is the data type of each column so we click on load button and it will load the data in case of the excel file the data is directly loaded into power bi So we can go here click on the data tab so in the data tab you can click here and herein we can see the data here in this particular table product host now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to add a dummy record which contains the error so let me have a copy of this record Control c Control v and this one contains the value as dollar two hundred. Now note that what is the data type of this column is uh, it's a decimal number. So if you have the dollar in front of it, so it becomes a currency. So let me save this and I come here again, right click on this and select refresh data. Let's see what happens. So it contains one new record but the in that the data is blank it does not contain any data so what we want is we want to remove this record from this table and the and maybe this record should be displayed as the record which contains error although we can see if we have very less number of records it it's fairly easy to see but think about the millions of records it, it will be very difficult so we go here click on the home button and transform data here click here and we can see this um, uh, this particular column has got some different lines in front of it so we click on view column quality we can see this one is the one which contains errors so first what we do is right click on this one and select reference so what is the meaning of reference is the reference is basically it is just connecting to the source so the same query will not fire again it is just referencing to the uh, the final output that have that we have got from this step from this particular query so we rename this one the first one the original one to hyphen original and this one I will rename as product cost okay and this one we want that it should not contain the records which which have error so we select this column and in the home one we select remove rows remove errors so this one does not contain the error now but what we want is the rows we want to see the records which contain the error as well so we right click here again we create one more again reference product cost errors and herein we select this column and we select the option keep errors 
so this one contains now one record only and let me uncheck this option column quality so this one is the one which contains the error what um, means from end user point of view uh, we, we cannot show him so we want the detailed information so we select here so so we, what we do is we add one more column so here in we say uh, add column uh, custom column so here in we say try and thereafter we select product cost so so what we are doing is basically we are saying that check this product cost and click on ok so it says, uh, shows us a record here so click on the double headed arrow and it shows basically uh, all the records which have got the error and it also has a flag has error yes or no and we know that record already has error so we just select the object here which is error and uncheck use original column name as prefix click on ok button again it shows us a record this record will have three columns reason message and the detail so click on the double headed arrow and we select maybe all all three of them click on ok button now we can delete the original column name remove and in the detail and if you if you want you can rename the this particular detail to product host okay so we get the value here and now we can click on close and apply there's one more thing that we need to do is we can disable the load of original table so let me go to transform data again transform data and here in I'll right click on product cost original and disable the load of this one click on continue so this is fine so we can see this Now we go to the, we can go to the report and we see that the one with the error has al also been loaded here. So we can go here and let me add a table representation and here in I add maybe the data here from the product cost I select product SKU. and the product cost so we can see the values here which have been loaded here SKU has not been loaded so let me add this here okay. and I can change this style as well if you want bold header flashy rows which is fine no, nothing great in this and is the size as well so that it's easier to see okay, product cost and let me add another one rows and or maybe product post errors and let me copy the same one from here control c and control v so that i do not need to do the formatting again the only change i'll do is in this one i'll add um, Maybe the product product cost 
maybe message sku and the reason i'll add the fields maybe sku Why is the product first coming to us? Okay, so product SKU and this one, and thereafter, what I can do is I can save this to product first. Let me publish this as well, and uh, herein I'm publishing to my workspace only. So it is done. So I go here in Power BI in my work workspace, my workspace. This is the one which I've been which I've just deployed. So I click on product cost. So I can see this particular one product cost and product cost errors as well. Now I go here in the workspaces again and here and I click on the, this particular data set that I have got and I click on settings so it says the gateway connection is not running so let me start the gateway as well So it is running on this one. I need to include this particular file. So I select this. Sign in. So I'm, what I'm going to do is this particular file. I want to map it, so I select new data uh, add to gateway. So it will show me this one, uh, which is the source that I want to be added. Get money at my trainergate.com. Let me just check D hundred demo. So I will select. And uh, Windows username. Click on Add button. So click on Gateway Connection. So I maps to basically I'll select the product cost. Click on the Apply button. So it has been updated. So I go here now, the same workspace. So here in, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add one more record here. So maybe this one, and maybe the uh, the ID I'll give is maybe 190921. A, B, C, helicopter, and again the value here I am going to give is dollar twenty two hundred, and this one I am going to add another record with the valid value here, and the value will be maybe it's uh, twenty two hundred, and the and the, this one is A, B, C one. Let me save this. Now I come here and here and I say that to schedule refresh. Now there are a couple of ways I can do this. I can go here in the workspaces. 
and the content I got the product cost report and in the data set I've got the product cost so I cl can click on the refresh now let's see what happens so it is preparing for refresh it is showing me the time as 354 it is 359 as of now let's see if it is able to So it has been done now. Now let me go back to the report again. Product cost. I click on the content. Product cost report. Can we see the new record with the value as 2200? So let me see control F5. So we can see the record as to, with the value as 2200 available here and in the product cost errors we can see one new record has been added uh, with the 19-19-21 ABC. Okay. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.